Bosses of Reddit, what is the most messed up reason you've had to fire one of your employees for? Had a relatively new employee who left at lunch to take care of his wife who had cancer. He didn't return after an hour and then his wife was calling looking for him. According to the night shift the guy finally got back from lunch around 8 o'clock that night and then proceeded to work for several hours. We later found out he had picked up a girl during lunch and was in a hotel with her. The next morning we found a two foot pile of paperwork that he had filed the night before stuffed behind the copy machine. He was walked out before lunch. They put jalapeno peppers on every burger for a large order while working overnight because they were annoyed that they had to make so much food. Hiding Nazi flags around the office after hours when the building was locked. He broke in multiple times to do this before we caught him. I wasn't the manager but I watched this go down. A kid at Safeway told our boss to fire him. Obviously the boss was confused. The kid said something along the lines of my parents made me get this job and if I quit they'll be annoyed. But if I get fired I can just make up a reason why. Here's the best part. The kid's mom used to work for this manager and she's the one who got him the job. The manager fired the kid then called his mom and told her what happened. I never did get to hear the aftermath but I can't imagine that kid went places in life. He was going over to fight in the Syrian civil war and told me he needed 8 months 2 years off. Then he added, if I come back at all, it was a grocery store and we couldn't do that. He got one month off, but was scheduled for the month after, and obviously he was fired for job abandonment. I wonder if he ever came back. This was in June of 2014. He was from Syria, but he was first stopping in Egypt to visit family, and that was also a hotbed of civil unrest. For all I know he's part of ISIS or got extradited since he's a Canadian citizen, but he could also be dead. I told him be careful, these blades are sharp and he told me about how he worked roofing and they use much sharper blades. Then he proceeded to cut himself with a blade. I'm not sure why, I think it was to prove it wasn't as sharp as what he's used to. Either way, blood everywhere. Asked him to leave right after that, it was his first day. I was a manager at Spencer Gifts. I had to fire a guy for stealing edible lube, sneaking into the bathroom, jerking off with it, then eating it. Don't buy the socks in that store. Two IT employees for having a fist fight in the parking lot. During investigation, it came to light that they were arguing over whether Windows 7 would be better than XP. Win 7 wasn't even publicly accessible yet. Those sound like the best kind of IT. Drinking on the job, he was a preschool teacher. Totally understandable. Source, have preschooler. Back when I owned a plumbing company, I had an employee that wasn't quite a plumber yet but could do service work pretty well. I had to send him to a new home for a punch list of some minor things. On the list was the shower head was making noise, when he was talking to the homeowner, a very nice looking woman, in her late twenties. She said that while in the shower the shower head made a whistling noise, and he said to her, in front of the superintendent well, if I saw you naked, I'd whistle too. She complained and I had to let him go because at the time that was the only development we had work in. Not a boss, but I used to close a fast food restaurant with one other co-worker and a supervisor. Occasionally, the supervisor would take her break in the office and smoke crack. No one said anything until we got a new closer who was pretty upset when she blew some in his face. One of my employees stole a credit card out of another employee's purse, used it to buy a TV at Target, then pretended she found the credit card on the floor near the employee's purse two days later. We once had a crap bandit at my office, they worked nights and weekends, and would smear his crap on the walls using it to write stuff against the company. We were able to narrow it down to about three people who it could have been. Turns out it was all three of them. I was forced to fire and carry out legal action against two employees who stole explosives from a site. He walked up behind a janitorial woman while cleaning the urinal, and began peeing in same said urinal, like, over her shoulder. Oh, and he was a security officer. Now the janitorial staff has little bar things kinda like a shower curtain, that go across the bathroom door frame to block it, with little flags hanging down notifying that the bathroom is closed. Couple clarification points. 
The facility is a huge back office support facility, a campus of several buildings with nearly 15,000 employees. We are not customer facing, so everyone on campus is an employee. The janitorial woman was allegedly crouching down cleaning the urinal, not standing, which allowed for the over-the-shoulder volley of bladder juice. There was no one else in the restroom, so there was even less of an excuse to pee in the urinal the woman was in progress cleaning. The pee bandit did not deny the incident. He felt his status and authority as a security officer gave him the right to use the restroom while it was being serviced. He was immediately dismissed, and honestly doesn't reflect the profile of the nearly 90 other officers I have on staff, who are mostly very decent people trying to earn a basic living in a pretty thankless job. I was a manager in a chain of shoe stores, was brought into a store and automatically didn't trust an employee. Took a whole 3 days to discover her online store that was just a bunch of stolen product from our store. After an audit and her admission, we learned she had stolen 37% of our stock for 3 years. She actually didn't get arrested, which shocked me. She signed a contract saying she would pay the company back. At $300 a month it will take her 15 years to do so. He punched a customer in the face while trying to buy coke for said customer. I had to fire him. You can't punch customers in the face. Not a boss, but my first boss fired me after I crashed a customer's car at a car dealership. I was 18. Worst experience ever, and it was my third day there. Not a boss, but when I worked at a grocery store a co-worker of mine got fired because he backed his new truck up in front of the doors and did a burnout on the sidewalk because he wanted to show people how much power his truck had after he chipped it and put a new exhaust in. 13 intimately explicit voicemails left on my phone by a very drunk employee. HR had to transcribe them and no one could believe this guy said some of those things. He has a sneeze fetish. That is he gets off. Literally. When people sneeze at him. He sprinkled black pepper dust in the box of tissue paper and hung around those who use the Kleenex until they sneezed, while hiding his hands in his pockets. It didn't take long for the women to file formal complaints with HR. He got fired and left with a crap-eating grin and a large wet spot at the front of his pants. That's a weird freaking fetish. Not a boss, but when I was in Ryan College, I had a co-worker who got in this situation. A parent at the end of the school year comes to the dorm room and asks do you know which room my daughter is in? Co-worker what's your daughter's name? Parents is. Co-worker you know that's a stripper name? Fired on the spot. A co-worker was fired after he violently attacked our mutual boss during a disciplinary meeting. He was convinced our boss was sabotaging his projects in an effort to make him fail. He was a big guy. Boss was a petite woman. Another manager came in when he heard the screaming. Co-worker was held down by other employees until the police arrived. The saddest part is that our boss was indeed constantly setting him up for failure and belittling us all. He was asleep at his desk, so I shook his shoulder to wake him up. Because it wasn't even a big deal to me, and he fell out of his chair drunk off his ass and then threw up in front of the big boss. I was the third shift coordinator for temp employees at a dog food plant for 6 months. I had to tell two guys, from Kenya, not to come back because of their hygiene. They both wore the same set of clothes for 2 weeks straight. Do you know how bad you have to smell to be told you can't work in a dog food plant? Bro. Personal hygiene. She had a lot of personal issues going on which I felt awful about. But she showed up to work looking like her clothes hadn't been washed in a month and smelling like she hadn't taken a shower in just as long. One medical form and four conversations write ups later I had to let her go. Was an awful experience I hope never to have to repeat. I recently had to let someone go for peeing on other people's stuff. On the carpet. On their co-worker's phone and keyboard. On co-worker's coffee mugs. I once watched a guy get let go for having cancer. Never heard about him again. This reminded me of a news story from a couple of years ago. Some lady's boss had health problems and needed an organ transplant. The lady was a perfect match so she offered herself up as a donor. Well after having major surgery she was obviously weakened for a while and not performing at her usual pace at work. So the boss fired her. I am not a boss myself. However, back when I was young and working at Target, we had an employee, single mom, late 40s, trailer trash, 
who apparently started a nasty M habit. The managers didn't really catch on at first. However, one day she came in as high as a kite. She walked into the bathroom, carved out all of her teeth with a razor bleed, calmly walked up to the store manager and handed them to him. It took him almost a full minute to even comprehend what had just happened. She was fired on the spot and 911 was called immediately. I mean I heard M was bad for your teeth, but this was unexpected. The concept of relative melting points just didn't really sink until he'd gotten two plastic utensils stuck to the grill and part of a burger. It's highly possible that drugs were involved. I had a woman tell me she'd start in a month because that was when her unemployment ran out. And I was too naive to see that as a red flag. She shows up and just pretends not to understand what she's supposed to do over and over until I fire her for not having accomplished virtually anything. Stanford graduate degree in engineering. I was blinded by it and thought it had to be me, not her, as the source of her problems. So of course she marches right into the unemployment office and claims she was laid off as she files for unemployment. She didn't realize that your benefits are a function of your earnings, so she'd get practically nothing, but she was married and didn't need much. Just went from employer to employer to scam the system for whatever she could get. Guy was in the bathroom yelling and causing a racket. Went in there and he had ripped the door off the stall, and was laying on the floor crying for his mommy. I ended up finding the bottle of rum he was pouring in his coke. He was even more upset when he found out he didn't have a job anymore. Crapping in the shower and then waffle stomping it down. The toilets were literally right across from the showers. It was an older, seemingly sophisticated lady. Stealing toilet paper. At a restaurant, a guy held a 12 inches chef's knife up and told a girl I'm a cut you bee. That's how the legend of crazy cold bar Joe began. I fired one of my public safety officers when she went off on our dispatcher for turning down the volume on her CD player. I'll get my pistol from my car and bust a cap in your ass. The worst was one account where this officer was on bike patrol. He flashed a fake LAPD badge at a guy sitting in his car waiting for his wife. He took him out of his car, cuffed him, and made him withdraw $300 from an ATM. Strong arm robbery. I worked at a cinema in high school, and the boss was a moron. A kid showed up stoned for his interview. The boss called him out on it and started telling the kid about when he used to get high before work himself. Makes the kid promise he won't do it again in the interview, then tells the kid he'll be fired if he shows up to work stoned. Proceeds to give him the job. Kid showed up to his first shift stoned and gets fired. I'm not sure which one is the bigger moron here. At one place there was someone whose food got stuck in a vending machine and they hip bumped the machine and shattered the glass. They had to throw everything away and made him pay for it and the glass and then fired him. I run a bicycle delivery team. I hired a guy once who would go out on deliveries and come back with the correct money credit slips but I would get calls saying that people didn't get their deliveries. We never got to the bottom of it, but he got let go after the third episode. A friend of mine that worked as a manager at Denny's told me of the night she had to fire the two night cooks, the dishwasher and four servers and then had police arrest them. Turned out they were running a fencing operation during their downtime hours and also was a coke ring as well. Once she found out, called the cops and before they arrived she fired them all. At the car plant I worked at, two guys got fired for blowing each other in the bathroom. At Domino's where I work this guy got fired for dropping three tubs of black olives in one evening. At the time I couldn't believe that anybody was capable of such a featuring. Another case I remember was this 16 year old who acted as if he wanted to work hard but just played on his smartphone when we were busy also he frequently swore at customers which is a big no no. We had to let a pool man go once for wanking it in the pump room at one of our residential accounts. Twice. That wasn't the most messed up though, he just happened to get caught. The most messed up is when I was the trainer for a tech company call center once and we got a guy out of training. It was a struggle. First day on the phones, he shows up with music headphones on when a recently divorced, fairly attractive office worker walks by. He looks at her and then one of the other co-workers and says loud enough for her and everyone else to hear. Who's tapping dad ass needless to say, it was his first and last day. I am not a boss, I work on Bourbon Street as a bartender. However, 
we have extremely high turnover, and attract some genuine loonies. So, 1. Had a guy work for a week, mostly in the pizza area. He was behind the bar for two day and he broke a bottle of Grey Goose on someone's head. The reason? I gave them their three freaking dollars back. 2. We have a little microwave to the back of the place. Usually nobody uses it, we all just call for food. However, during Buy Classic, the worst event ever, a couple of gunshots popped off outside, and the bar got stampeded from people trying to escape gunshots. This girl who had worked there for months runs to the back, screaming all corny, then comes back, while people are still panicking. At the end of the night, our register comes up a thousand dollars short. She had stolen it and put it in the microwave. 3. A lot of people get fired for selling or buying drugs, but we had a guy selling bags of our bathroom walls paint, white and flaky, to dumbass college kids. This was mostly funny and harmless, except he was doing coke. 2. Our boss's boss came in one night, and all you hear is him screaming from the bathroom frick I did the wrong bag. Getting high on fake weed, then chasing a neighbor lady with bolt cutters. I had to fire my assistant for allegedly picking his nose. My boss didn't like him, and was always trying find ways to write him up. At some point, my assistant had enough and wouldn't sign the paperwork, stating being written up for these things were humiliating. So I had to fire him for insubordination, which was the plan all along. I soon quit that BS company. That was 20 years ago, and I am still mad about it. You have been visited by the bee of jazz. Like this video to have your ears filled with cool cool jazz. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.